a few months ago, after knowing Eckhart Tolle for a while and studying the books, I woke up and I suddenly got it. I understood suddenly how thought was just an illusory thing. Uh, and how thought is responsible for, if not all, most of the suffering we experience. And then I suddenly felt like I was looking at these thoughts from another perspective. And I wondered, who is it that's aware that I'm thinking? And suddenly, I was thrown into this expansive, amazing feeling of freedom from myself, from my problems. I saw that I was bigger than what I do. I was bigger than my body. I was everything and everyone. I was no longer a fragment of the universe. I was the universe. And ever since that day, I've been trying to get back there. <laughs> it comes and it goes. <laughs> it's like riding a wave. Sometimes I'm on, sometimes I'm off. But at least I know where I want to go. And that I want to take as many people with me as I possibly can because the feeling is amazing. <laughs> you know, it's our intention. Our intention is everything. Nothing happens on this planet without it. Not one single thing has ever been accomplished without intention. So I started thinking about my life and I started thinking about this conference and what we're about and and I looked back and I thought well I was two people my whole life I was in the living room entertaining people being a monkey you know doing my thing for the company and and trying to relieve my mother who was suffering she had uh, rheumatoid arthritis and phlebitis and everything everything under the sun that was nagging at her and she was depressed and I wanted her to be free and I wanted her to realize that her life was worth something because she gave birth to someone who was worth something. And then I would go into my room and I would sit with a legal pad. <laughs> I was a little kid. And I would sit there and I would try to figure out what it meant, what it was all about. Why are we here? What is this? And one day I read something from Buddha that said that all spirituality is about relieving suffering. And I suddenly realized that's what I'm doing in the other room. <laughs> and, and I'm aligned. You know, this my purpose is aligned with this. So I felt incredibly lucky. I lose sight of that all the time. I get caught up in different concerns and ego concerns. But I'm so lucky to be a part of this community and to, to, to do something that is a value. 